In 1899, during an interview, the genius inventor Tesla said something mysterious. He stated that everything was light. The first time I read this interview, I felt extremely intrigued. Tesla revealed the core secrets of the universe, indicating that all matter can be produced from light. Let's take a closer look at what he said. Tesla stated, everything is light. He asked us to remember that every person in the world has died. However, they transform into light and continue to exist. The secret lies in the fact that light particles can restore their original state. Tesla's knowledge was at least a hundred years ahead of his time. How did he come to understand this? What is light? And why is it considered one of the most crucial secrets of the universe? To understand the story of light, we need to start at the beginning. We need to look back to around 430 BCE, when the state of Chu planned to attack the state of Song. A brave man named Mozi traveled alone to persuade the king of Chu to stop the attack. He knew that appealing to the Chu king's sense of righteousness would be ineffective, so he simulated a battle using a sand table with the famous inventor Lu Ban. Mozi won the simulation, and the Chu king, seeing his talent for Mozi, had to abandon the attack on Song. This is the story of how one man stopped a war. However, Mozi is best known not for his military prowess, but for being one of the most imaginative scientists of the spring and autumn period. Mozi was the first person in the world to record pinhole imaging. He dug a small hole in a wall, blocking the light from inside the house and saw the inverted image of the person outside on the wall inside the house. Through his observations of light, Mozi proposed Mozi's eight optical principles making him one of the pioneers of optical research. Mosey wrote, When the foot obscures the light, the scene appears above. When the head obscures the light, the scene appears below. His discovery of pinhole imaging was because light can propagate in a straight line, which was a breakthrough observation of his time. Mozi became the ancestor of a series of optical studies, and humans began to explore the theory of optics. However, to further understand the nature of light, observing alone wasn't enough. It was necessary to abstract light and study it in mathematical form, which required a different research method, mathematics. We need to move back to around 300 BCE. The famous Greek mathematician Euclid used geometric principles to explain light propagation, marking the earliest focus on light in human history, known as optics. Euclid discovered that distant pillars appear much larger than humans, but they look about the same size as a finger in front of the eyes. This is the principle of near and far sizes. Through calculations, Euclid further discovered that the angle of incidence of light is equal to the angle of reflection. Humans began to use mathematics to control the properties of light, predicting the direction of light by controlling the angle of incidence of different triangles. At this time, people could not imagine that the light, which disperses darkness and fills the material world, is the creator of all things. Even if they are straight propagations, reflections, or even refractions, these are only physical properties of light and belong to its surface. Deep discoveries about light had to wait for the appearance of the first scientific genius in human history. In 1664, the 21-year-old Englishman Newton developed a strong interest in light. He posed a question, why can light enter the eyes? What would happen if I applied pressure to the eyes? Newton found a sharp stick and tried to insert it between his eyeball and socket. This was a very dangerous act, and I urge everyone not to attempt to replicate it. Newton gradually inserted the stick, increasing the pressure on his eyeball. Suddenly, he noticed a colorful ring forming around the focus of his eyes. He continued to observe despite the pain and discovered that the arrangement of the colors was the same as that of a rainbow. This was a strange discovery. How did the rainbow appear in his eyes? It suggested that the rainbow was an inherent phenomenon of light and a part of its properties. Two years later, Newton made a historic breakthrough discovery. In 1666, Newton experimented in a completely dark room. He intercepted light with a prism and adjusted its position until the angle of incidence and reflection of sunlight were completely equal. 
He was surprised to find that white light was divided into a band of colored light. This is the phenomenon of light dispersion. Newton further explained that violet light has the greatest deflection, while red light has the smallest. Therefore, these two colors of light are located at opposite ends of the light band. He invented a term to describe this phenomenon, which is now commonly known as the spectrum. White light can be decomposed into seven pure colors, but can pure colors of light be further decomposed? Newton extracted a red beam of light and adjusted it again with a prism. He found that pure color light cannot break down further. Therefore, he concluded that the same color belongs to the same refractive index, and light dispersion occurs among different refractive indices. Therefore, light is a particle composed of extremely tiny components. Although Newton could not explain why light has color, he began to understand the essence of light. It's the year 1861. James Clerk Maxwell, a Scottish physicist known for his insatiable curiosity about the world around him, was conducting an experiment involving throwing cats. He wanted to understand why cats always seem to land on their feet, but soon he became distracted by a more fascinating phenomenon. Maxwell became good friends with another British physicist, Michael Faraday, who had discovered a strange physical phenomenon 30 years prior. Faraday had found that moving a magnet near a coil of wire could generate an electric current, but nobody could explain why. Maxwell was intrigued and wanted to use mathematics to figure it out. At the time, nobody could imagine how mathematics could be used to describe electric fields, magnetic fields, and their relationships with electric charge and current density. But after years of arduous work, Maxwell created four partial differential equations which are considered some of the greatest equations in human history. These equations, however, hold a shocking secret. Through his calculations, Maxwell discovered that the speed of transmission of electric and magnetic fields was the same as the speed of light. His equations not only described electricity and magnetism, but also described light. It turned out that light and electromagnetism were essentially the same things. Light is an electromagnetic wave, which explains why light can have colors since the different frequencies of the vibrations of electromagnetic waves produce different colors. Scientists have since discovered that the entire electromagnetic spectrum, from gamma rays to visible light to long wavelength radio waves, is essentially light. Some are visible to the human eye, while others are not. Maxwell's equation became the second precise equation after Newton's three laws of motion to describe how the world exists. However, scientists still didn't fully understand light's nature, such as why it had a dual personality of being both a particle and a wave. That discovery would have to wait for another genius to uncover. The time is 1895. 16-year-old Albert Einstein was captivated by a question. Why is light the upper limit of speed for all objects in the universe? What would happen if we were to travel on a beam of light? After 10 years of thinking, Einstein used a mathematical formula to completely change humanity's understanding of the world. This is the simplest expression of Einstein's mass energy equivalence equation, Eagle to MC2. This equation tells us that light, energy, and mass can be converted into each other. If we were to travel at the speed of light, time would stop. But we can never stop time because the amount of energy required for matter to reach the speed of light would be infinitely large. We are getting closer and closer to the core mystery of light. Light seems to be inseparable from matter, energy, and time. Light is the foundation of our world and one of the most basic components of the universe. Einstein further discovered the essence of light. Light is a form of energy propagation. Let's briefly review from light as a particle to light as a wave, and then light as a form of energy propagation. Human understanding of light is becoming increasingly profound. Nevertheless, these are only the primary research topics. The truly strange discoveries about light came from a Chinese scientist. The time is 1929. In a laboratory at the California Institute of Technology, a 27-year-old Chinese graduate student named Zhao Zhongyao made a strange discovery. He created light out of nothingness. Using high-energy photons from hard gamma rays, Zhao bombarded heavy metal lead, and somehow the light was produced. 
At the time, nobody on Earth knew what this meant. The light that Zhao observed was the result of the annihilation of positrons and electrons. He became the first person in human history to observe antimatter. When matter and antimatter collide, they produce energy and light. Even today, nobody can fully explain why this happens. But this discovery has led scientists to ask an even more profound question. If the matter can be annihilated to produce light, can light be used to create matter? At this point in the story, it begins to take on a philosophical tone. In Chinese culture, there is a saying that translates to something out of nothing. Taoist philosophy suggests that everything in the world originates from nothingness and that from nothingness, everything is born and developed into the universe. But is this the case? It's July 30th, 2021. In the Brookhaven National Laboratory on Long Island, New York, scientists use two gold ions moving in opposite directions at 99.995% the speed of light on the same line. When the ions pass each other, the photons around the ion's electromagnetic clouds collide and generate matter in the light, specifically positive and negative electron pairs. The experiment yielded 6,085 pairs of these. This experiment confirms that light can generate matter, a discovery that ties together the theories of James Clerk Maxwell's electromagnetic equations, Albert Einstein's ELCMC2 equation, and Isaac Newton's laws of mechanics. The universe began with the Big Bang, and all matter was created from light. While Nikola Tesla is credited with understanding this concept, we still don't know the nature of photons and why light locks the universe's upper speed limit at 300,000 kilometers per second. Our understanding of light is just beginning, and it may be the ultimate secret of our universe. This is Tech Talk Universe, and we'll continue this discussion in our next episode. See you next time.